we have very small session and this is about valedictory session and we have our next speaker in this session is dr arvind padhi i hope that dr arvind padhi you are there wherever you are can you please raise your hand wave your hand arvind sir you are still there anu and Manju, um, anu and yeah, yeah. i am there uh, rajit okay good good to yes. see you sir you are looking very fresh and very calm very quiet very good <laughs> you are always inspiring thank you thank you so dr padhi is right now the country director for india for icresat he is the director of business relations mm -hmm. and the country affairs and dr padhi is a great friend my well wisher and one of the very important thing with dr padhi is that he is one of those unique combination of researchers and administration so those of you who are coming from asia and india they know that in india we have this indian administrative science so dr padhi is a ias officer he did his ias in 1996 and belongs to the odisha cadre he has he has experience of more than two decades in public administration and policy making he is so active that after every two three days you will always find his opinion and the article on the different leading newspaper magazines in india and around the world and always on the topical subjects on agriculture so he is really disseminating knowledge around the country and uh, so and right now as i said so he is heading this india country office of icresat for last 3 years among the various positions he has held are district magistrate and collector which we know very important positions and director for agriculture and food production revenue divisional commissioner chief administrator of sri jagannath temple in puri commissioner come secretary tourism and culture department odisha joint secretary department of fertilizers government of india etc and during his tenure with the odisha government he was instrumental in the drafting the odisha state agriculture policy in 2008 Government of India appointed Dr. Padi as the first nodal officer to implement direct benefit, direct benefit transfer in fertilizers. Dr. Padi has been honored with several awards, and in this one, I would like to mention a few ones. Few. So, for instance, uh, during his civil services, he got the best collector award in 2000 for 2003 2004. National award for the contribution to the humanitarian services given by the Indian Red Cross Society and many more to his credit right now he is also sitting in some high level policy committees for the nutrition and this session is dealing with the nutrition so we thought that we will not have a better person than dr padi for this particular session so we welcome you sir thank you very much for joining us and we would like to avail this opportunity to thank you once again for supporting all of our research and especially me and we would like to request you to deliver your address to this group uh, thank you, Dr. Raju Arsani, uh, for this opportunity. Let me uh, open with a good fact. Uh, in fact, the success of a webinar is uh, adjusted by the number of participants in the last session. You, you can count the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, I can see about 720 in this Zoom platform. I don't have access to the YouTube. And Facebook also, we are having around 600, 700 people are right now. That, that's, that, that speaks of your personality, your reputation, your network and your goodwill that has made this happen. This is literally amazing that uh, a very beautiful seminar on a very good subject. I wish to begin with my thanks to you and your entire team in the Center of Excellence in Genomics and Systems Biology in Ikrisat. Uh, it is uh, indeed a very successful seminar, not by the count of the participants, but by the participation of eminent experts. I was there in the initial uh, few sessions and now I could uh, hear Dr. Gil uh, some time back. It is literally a very great success. Moreover, the topic that you have chosen is very apt because this will shape uh, the future of agricultural research. And if I may say the entire humanity, because without food, imagine for a second, if India were not food surplus, food grain surplus, how, I mean, how we would be managing this ongoing pandemic. So, so heads up to you and uh, the entire uh, agricultural research fraternity and the millions of farmers across uh, the country. In fact, uh, during the ongoing health crisis around COVID-19, 
the importance of good nutrition for sound health of the people uh, has been uh, emphasized uh, because especially when uh, we need to fight back the pandemic with a stronger immune system if we are not uh, having a stronger immune system it would be very difficult to fight this kind of a health crisis uh, it is also expected that the consumers will be more health conscious uh, in the post covid period i was listening to the nutrition topic uh, from dr deer some time back and in fact uh, let me i mean evidences will of course come uh, let us expect that the post covid scenario people will be uh, literally more health conscious and uh, there will be demand for more of healthier and nutritious foods this is uh, a foregone conclusion then how do we achieve uh, the objectives while meeting the challenges from the looming climate change so policies need to be tuned to these changing requirements uh, at this time when uh, new breeding tools and techniques are available we we heard about the tools and techniques uh, since the morning uh, and uh, these tools and techniques could create climate resilient crops that are well designed to address the concerns around food security and nutrition uh, in the opening session the agriculture commissioner i i heard the agriculture commissioner government of india to announce uh, that the, uh, that there is a comfortable food grains and horticultural production in our country in india particularly i will be india specific in my uh, brief uh, address however the malnutrition burden of india is uh, not unknown to this very informed audience I and mean, it's not very comfortable uh, to to many of us in the policy space and uh, of course it's a big challenge to all the researchers who have joined online today and to achieve this nutrition security for one and all at all times uh, genomics can play a very big role Uh, i'm i'm not going to discuss on the research aspects of this because uh, expert scientists uh, in the past sessions have already spoken at length on them but i would like to touch upon some issues which are sensitive and have not been discussed much about in this webinar i mean you will permit me dr washney to speak something on that because i i i sit on the other side uh, in the government space in the policy space and also as you uh, while introducing me you told about my interest in the in the policy arena in fact when i was a research student about more than two decades ago uh, before jo joining the indian civil service i can see many of the ira friends maybe in the online uh, audience uh, we were often told that biotechnology is the technology of the 21st century by biotechnology you 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 encompass everything you know genomics genetic engineering and all all, all, all other tools that have come up uh, in the meantime let me reveal uh, my conviction that it is still uh, the the technology for this uh, century but there have been uh, and there have also been very significant achievements in research and various uh, product uh, development for example the market uh, marker assisted selection breeding which was uh, often talked about the crispr cas technology and even the gmos all have uh, contributed uh, very significantly to ensure food security in india and various other parts of the globe uh, to, to my mind policy makers are convinced that the crispr cas uh, crispr genome edited uh, and the precision breeding uh, technologies uh, are very much uh, beneficial in uh, staple and other crops however i have no hesitation in telling that, that there is lot of misinformation why do i say i mean you are all informed uh, so well so you you all know that there has been a lot of misinformation campaigns maybe i cannot tell them as vested interest or something but we need to create a situation where right information goes to the audience and uh, there is also some kind of distorted consumer perception and uh, acceptance of products uh, which employs all these uh, tools and techniques why do i say so even advanced countries in europe Uh, there were i mean many of you are aware i'm not taking the names of such countries then there were also concerns about the gene edited crops in in few countries and there have been regulations in many others which which kind of preclude all all this stuff so i only wish that based on the scientific evidences around environment and health health safety aspects of the gmos and even the crispr genome edited foods uh, we should see a very Uh, how do i say how i mean a clarified or a clear uh, regulatory reforms and uh, environment i mean and and, and a very enhanced uh, consumer uh, education 
uh, the, the webinar definitely has uh, honed the scientific skills of the next generation researchers because I got to see, I mean, a uh, very huge number of scientists and researchers uh, joining uh, this particular webinar. I'm equally happy that this online event has given much visibility to ICRISA. Everybody is talking about our institute. Now, because I'm a part of the ICRISA system, it makes me immensely uh, proud, Dr. Varsani, that uh, through this particular uh, seminar and through your pioneering research activities, ICRISA is getting visibility not only in India but across the globe. I'm, I'm proud of you and your team, particularly you being our star scientist in the ICRISA and the CG system. I, I wish that uh, the takeaways from today's uh, important seminar, this webinar will enrich the scientific research community around genomics and help India and rest of the world in making uh, the population access to healthier, nutritious, and, and in fact, Dr. Dill and many others were mentioning safer and quality uh, foods in the days to come. Uh, I, I wish to thank you once again for this opportunity. And I take this opportunity to wish all uh, the audience and their families very safe existence. Let us fight COVID uh, with all our might and research and science. Thank you, Rani. Thank you very much, sir, for very kind words and summarizing the webinar very nicely and also giving that or uh, showing the other side of that uh, research impact as well. As you mentioned, policies are very important and uh, we are very much pleased that from ICRISAT, side and you are sitting in those important positions you are contributing those policies and they are really they will be really very helpful to take our research to those uh, community our farming community and the consumer so we are really grateful to you and on personal note again thank you very much for all your support and uh, cooperation sir we are really grateful to you thank you in fact if we would have this uh, formal i mean not online the real session we would have really pleased to distribute the certificates to several students because we are having 50% of those students that participate, 50% of the delegates are students, which is good. So now we would like basically to request you to give certificate electronically. <laughs> and what we will do, sir, that we will, and this is the announcement to all the students, so we will not be able to give all the certificates now, but we have requested Dr. Padi that he will show or he will hand over some certificates. So when I mention the name to those people, so can Deepak, can you come on this thing and shave, wave your hand if you are there, Mr. Deepak Katkani? Deepak, are you there? Prashad, can you unmute probably that Deepak cannot be speak on this, so maybe this is one of the region. Yes. Yeah. He so, asked him to unmute. Okay, so Deepak, can you come and then just grab the certificate. <laughs> we will send okay. by email. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Deepak. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for this wonderful session. Okay. Sir, now the second page. Yes. Now we have Miss Suhasni Selvaraj. Can you please come online, Suhasni? Prasad, you are doing for Suhasni as well? Yeah, she is not. She's offline. She is offline, but anyway, we will give this thing to her. And next one is Miss Isnehal Chaudhary. Isnehal, are you there? Nope. Prasad, you find her or you see? Uh, yeah, she is also right there. Sorry, unmuted? No, she is offline. She is offline. Maybe these students, they were sitting from morning. Mm -hmm. Let's see that who is there. But even though those students who left, then also we will give the certificate to them. So don't worry. Now we see Miss Darshna Patra. Darshna, are you there? She is from Odisha University of Agriculture and Te Technology, Bhubaneswar. Prasad, you found uh, Darshna? She was there five minutes back. Okay, so see, and let's see the last person, Mr. Shobham Singh. Is there? Shobham. Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are coming to Delhi? Delhi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I am Mr. Slay. Thanks to you, sir, for organizing this wonderful webinar for during this lockdown period. And this is really excitement and which I have learned what are the new era, what are the, about uh, the genomics is going on. And so, since, uh, especially, I am thanks, thanks to you, sir, for this organizing this webinar. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
Thanks very much, Subham. Now we are having the last person, probably Mr. N. Pawan Kumar. Or, well, Pawan Kumar was not there anyway. No, he's Pawan? there. He's there. He's there. Sir, can you open yeah. again? We can give this, show the certificate. Can you open this file again? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll so, Pawan, join online. Let's keep on moving. Next page, next page, maybe this. Yeah. So, Shavasni, we already told. Yeah, that's it. And yes. Pavan Kumar. And, okay. Yeah, so Pavan, you are there. Pavan is coming from the US Harvard. And I'm unmuted as well. Pavan. Rajiv, you are very intelligent. You have made the original representation all across the country. Rajiv, sir, message Pavan, this is you. Pavan, can you say something? Oh, okay. Good. So, congratulations to all these students who had this opportunity to receive the certificate from Dr. Padi. And we will be sh sharing all these certificates to you guys in next one or two days. Anu is working because Anu told me that she received the long list for more than a thousand people. So, she will be sending those things in those batches. But we are really thankful to all of you. And at this stage, and thank you very much, Dr. Padi, once again. Thank you so much. Now I would like to thank some of my colleagues who really helped us to organize this webinar. And in this list, there are many names, but I would like to mention, and I think that the name which I mentioned, they can show their face so that people know that who was behind me. Right now you can see the chair, but not chair. There were many people behind me to organize this uh, webinar. We have Anu Chitkireni. Anu, can you come online? Yes? Yes, I'm there. Okay, but we cannot see you. And uh, Prashad Bajaj. Can we see Prashad Bajaj? And uh, Nilesh Mishra. Hello, everyone. This Very good. So basically, Anu played very important role to identify the speaker. So I think these things, Prashad and Nilesh, they were working. And also Vinod. Vinod Valluri. Where are Vinod Valluri? And these people, they were busy behind this uh, Zoom and uh, YouTube. So this team was really working very hard. And uh, other colleagues, Swati and Poonma, I don't know whether they are there, Anu? No, they are not there here. Okay, but they are working with Anu to organize all the logistics. So there were many people working day and night for the last several days. I'm grateful to all of you. And uh, can I request all of you to just say thanks to all of them for doing great work. Thank you very much, guys. And also, I would like to mention the special name of Pavan Kulwal, who is my friend from MPKV and from whom I got this idea that we should do this thing. And of course, several other friends like Bhardwaj and many other people who asked me to organize that one. And of course, all the speakers from morning, from Dr. Malotra, from uh, Dr. Kalia, Dr. Sharma, and all of our speakers, Dr. Singh, Dr. Lee, Lee Hiki, Dr. Binhan, Dr. Uh, Tara Satipati, Dr. Kashti Newman, Dr. Dilthar Raja, so all these people and Dr. Arvind Padi, so they, they really played a very important role to make this workshop very successful and we are very grateful to all of you and in the last I would like to thank our ICRISAT management, especially our Director General Dr. Jackie Hughes, who could not join us but nevertheless she conveyed her message and she is very happy to see this workshop organized by large number, uh, attended by large number of people. As I said that all these videos, they will be available on YouTube. We will be sharing the link and will be good for all the speakers because your research in the public domain and for all the audience that whenever you would like to see, you can do that one. And students, please don't feel uh, like those of you who did not receive the certificate that you are unlucky one. No, this is not the case. We just had only opportunity to select a few right now, but all of you will be receiving the certificate. And thanks a lot for joining all the colleagues, more than 3,000 people from 67 countries. It was really a pleasure for us to host you all. And we are really grateful to you and we wish you all the best for your profession. And in the current time, keep on fighting. And I'm sure that we will win over this Corona thing very soon. And the whole world will be again very peaceful with the same word which we look forward. And with these things, we close the seminar. Thank you very much once again. And now we are closing the seminar. Thank you and have a great day, great time. Thank you very much.